13 an experiment was set up as shown in the diagram below the setup was left for that minutes so you can see at the top we have uh, glass rod we have thread we have suc uh, sucrose solution we have viscin tubing we have distilled water you are told state the expected results after that minutes what happened the visking tubing was fully filled with the solution the level of water in the beaker decreased explain your answer in a above why are you saying like that sucrose solution in visking tubing has high higher osmotic pressure a creating concentration gradient water molecules moved from distilled water to the visking tubing by osmosis number 14 a particular food substance is a suspected is suspected to contain vitamin C what chemical would you use to confirm presence of the above named vitamin you use the DCPIP dichlorophenol endophenol this is the one you use to test the vitamin C what are the expected result of vitamin C if vitamin C is present this CPIP is discolorized uh, go to the next one give one role of vitamin C in the human body Number one boost body immunity but to prevent bleeding of gums next acts as antioxidants number 15 number 15 what is the effect of concentrate uh, what is the effect of contraction of diaphragm muscle during breathing in mammals the effect of contraction of diaphragm muscle during breathing in mammals diaphragm flattens increases the volume of chest cavity thoracic cavity or thoracic cavity while pressure and increases uh, number 16 explain the three adaptations of leaves that maximizes efficiency in trapping sunlight for photosynthesis So you are told explain the adaptations of the leaves that ma maximizes efficiency in trapping sunlight for photosynthesis or how the leaves are adapted for photosynthesis number one broad flat lamina which provide a large surface area for absorption of carbon dioxide and sunlight thinness of the leaf shortens the distance to be covered during the diffusion of carbon four oxide and uh, penetration of light to reach uh, photosynthetic cells number two cuticle and epidermis are transparent to allow penetration of light to palisid cell next the palisid cells contain large numbers of chloroplast and their arrangement and locations next to to the upper epidermis enable them receive maximum sunlight number 17 explain the role of oxygen explain the role of oxygen in active transport uh, what is the role of oxygen in the active transport oxidize food to produce energy required in in active transport next you are told name two processes that depend on active transport in animals this one is a common question they repeat it uh, many times mm -hmm. the role of active transport in animals the absorption of sugar and 
some salt in kidney. Absorption of digested food from alimentary canal. Expression of waste product from body cells, then transmission of nerve impulse. Number 18, the phylum whose members possess notochord. That one is codata. Uh, next number 19, you are told the diagram below represent a, trans a transverse section through a plant uh, plant organ. Uh, it here this one is you do not get this one wrong you have part j k l and m as look at the questions you are told name the class of plant from which the section was taken this one is dicotyledonous lindonai dicotyledonai from which part organ was the section obtained that one is roots Give two reasons for your answer in A Roman one above. Presence of root hairs, structure M. Uh, Xylem is star shaped at the center. Presence of endodermis. Next, Method. name the part labeled K. Uh, part labeled K is phylum. State the function of the the function uh, functions of the part labeled M. M is absorption of water. M is absorption of water that will be xylem. M M is what? M is root air. Absorption of absorption of uh, water and also absorption of minerals. Go to the next one. Another section was taken through a young monocotyledonous uh, stem in the space below drew a diagram showing how tissue are distributed across the section. So this is how you will see it in in uh, monocotyledonous. That one is epidermis, that is phylum or xylem. Uh, that is how it is distributed. Then, uh, this is how the marks are awarded. From there, we have uh, a diagram representing a food web. Uh, food web. This is the food web. We have oaks, we have uh, small birds. Uh, oaks eat. Uh, uh, oaks eat lizards. Uh, you can see small birds uh, feed on insects, uh, caterpillars. They are eaten by birds. Small insects are eaten also by lizards. Decaying leaves. Uh, decaying leaves. They are eaten by small insects. And decaying leaves are also eaten by caterpillars. You can also see other worms uh, being eaten by uh, large insects. You can also see green plant. This is where the, the food uh, chain is starting. Uh, green uh, plants are also eaten by caterpillars. Uh, green plants are eaten by large insects. So, what are the questions? You are told, name the trophic level occupied by each of the following caterpillars caterpillars primary consumers small insects small insects primary consumers or secondary consumers from the uh, food web construct two food chains which end with lizards as a tertiary consumer so this is how you get it decaying leaves eaten by caterpillars, caterpillars eaten by small insects and then the final is tertiary consumer is lizards. The second one, green plant, caterpillars, 
small insects than lizards go to the next one which organisms have the least biomass in the ecosystem that one is ox next we have explain the answer in c roman one above occupies the highest trophic level hence less energy is available for them or to them since most of